Yeah, yeah, yeah. That. yeah that we got super cool. Uh, how many we got? Two fifty. Yeah, I think two fifty. Yeah, so yeah. it's t-shirts or is it uh, uh, t-shirts? T-shirts. Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant wrestling. So we, but... we figured six. Uh, yeah, I didn't six, figure out the rash four events. Cards. Yeah, yeah. Four events, sixty fighters apiece. Hundred percent. Yep. Yeah, I work on the rash cards. I thought. Yeah, yeah, I was, yeah. that's cool. I was gonna think about doing the rash cards like two different colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, 100%. You know, That'd be so But cool. I wanted to run that by you first yeah, before yeah. I started messing around. Oh, 100%, man. Well, first I want to thank you for coming on the show. Uh, how do you say your, how do you pronounce your net last name? Lugiana. Lugiana. I wanted to make sure I said it correct. Lugiana. Italian? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There it is. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, are Not you, as Italian as you're going to get. That's awesome. Are you from Philadelphia or in this area? I'm from Vineland, New Jersey. Okay. And what brought you uh, out to the PA? So, uh, when, I when I was in school getting my doctorate, I um, I wanted to uh, be in a like a, a busy area. I needed high volume. I'm a chiropractor, so I needed a lot of volume, a lot of people. So I was looking at New York City, uh, okay. Philadelphia, and Wilmington, Delaware. Mm -hmm. My first opportunity popped in Philadelphia nice. um, in 2000, and that was it. That's awesome. Uh, man. I, I was hooked immediately after that. Awesome. Uh, so just for the people who don't know, you will be at the. Place of Peace Invitational Number Five. It's going to be held in Haddonfield, New Jersey. Uh, can you talk more about uh, what you're going to be doing at our event? Uh, talk about your business and uh, what it's called when it started. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna be sponsoring the event. We're doing uh, the whole year, so four events this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we're gonna give all the fighters uh, competitor T-shirts. That's awesome. Appreciate uh, you. Thank you. My company's PA Pain and Rehab. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do auto accidents and workplace injuries. Mm -hmm. So if anybody gets hit in the back on the way home from this podcast, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> you, know who to go, you know who to go to. We work, awesome. we work with a ton of attorneys in Philly, most of the ones you see on TV. And, uh, you know, um, I don't see us getting a whole lot of work out of the, out of the invitational, but... Yeah, you know, you never I'm, a, know. I'm a big jujitsu fan. Absolutely. Uh, I'm a big Des fan too. Yeah, on top of person, it, so um, yeah, I wanted to. Once he had let me know about this, uh, I got really interested, and um, you know, I don't know. They tell him I'm a, I'm a black belt. Yeah, yeah. I was gonna ask you. I was yeah, gonna, so. Uh, so I was gonna say, uh, what does BJJ jujitsu uh, have to do with your life, and uh, when did you get started? Obviously, you just told him that you're a black belt, but let him know your, your history. <laughs> so, You've been in the game for a while. So it's interesting. I learned a lot from you, so I appreciate it. Hey, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I told you so. Hey, it's got it. <laughs> um, so I started uh, jujitsu when I was 38. Mm -hmm. um, I wrestled uh, all my life when I was younger. I had a full ride for wrestling. I lasted four months. Uh, it was just, it, it was too much. Mm -hmm. So I left that scholarship and I went and played football for the next four years. Uh, and then I ended up in school until I was about 30. I uh, came out of school and then just started working, uh, working you know, day and night. Um, by the time I hit 38, I was looking to do something. I got a nice shiny red bike and a red helmet, you know, one of those yeah, racing bikes. And I, I Drove it for four miles and then got rid of it. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't that for was me. Funny, so man. I wanted to wrestle, mm -hmm. and I knew nobody was going to let me just go into a high, high school gym and wrestle. Mm -hmm. So a buddy of mine had been training at Balance, mm -hmm. and uh, I was sitting at my kitchen table one summer, and I, I Googled it. It was on my 38th birthday. Nice. I Googled it, and Balance came up. And I called my buddy and I said, is this the place to go to? He said, yes. <laughs> uh, so I showed up that, that following week. Mm -hmm. uh, they enrolled me in that basics class. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I lasted about two weeks in that basics yeah, yeah, yeah. class. <laughs> I, I told Ricky, I said, you have to get me out of this class. Oh, 100%. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just, uh... I signed up for two years on the spot. Nice. Um, and that was it. It was, uh, and it was a game changer for me. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it uh, up till then, it was just work and kids and, <laughs> Uh, more work and less kids and I had no balance really I had no like uh, no drive to look forward that I had been working out and lifting since I was 12 and you just it just gets boring lifting you yeah. know you're not lifting really for anything so yeah. once I started jujitsu and um, getting choked out by uh, people much smaller than me uh, while I'm gassing out at 240 pounds I look like a you know 
head looked like a car tire. <laughs> so, so I started running, started lifting, yeah. and I started my privates, and you know everything, everything in my life fell right in line so after that. that. It was, uh, you know, I like to keep the phrase in my head, um, God, family, jujitsu. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the, that's what I follow. You know, and I got right now our gym's closed. Yes, for, not yeah. really closed, but it doesn't have a bathroom. Yeah, so yeah, didn't work that we good. we train at uh, at noon, and then I go back to work. So not having a bathroom kind of knocks me out of the game. And it's been three weeks. And, you know, I'm, sometimes you have to sacrifice in order to uh, you know excel in what you know the next stage. Yeah, yeah. So it's making you, it's making us better. You know? <laughs> but um, that's an awesome story. I do have a couple of questions. What made you uh, do you see any correlation between jujitsu uh, injuries and what you do currently? Uh, no, I gotta tell you, um, you know, of all the people that ask me about stuff uh, on the mat, and I get questions all the time. You know, a lot of stuff is uh, is basic AC joint separations where guys are landing on their shoulder, mm -hmm. but they think they have a torn rotator cuff. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we diagnosed a couple guys like that yeah, yeah. and saved them a lot of pain. Mm -hmm. pain and heartache and money mm -hmm. um, but it's more the uh, their workplace injuries like it's a, a repetitive motion injury a lot of things are from driving you know mm -hmm. over development on one side from driving with one Hard hand mm -hmm. you know one guy's driving a forklift looking up mm -hmm. uh, to his left the whole day you know and the doctors really can't um, you know they don't have the time to sit down and go through the daily routine of what the people do. Mm -hmm. um, so the first thing I do is I ask them, you know, what do you do? For, what, do you, what do you do for a living? What do yeah. you do all day? Mm -hmm. you know, if your shoulder hurts, why does it hurt? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a person on a um, on an assembly line. Mm -hmm. You know, if they're picking a can up and moving it to the left, mm -hmm. they do they do that for eight hours. Eight when, years straight. Eight years straight. When they go to move to the right, it's going to be pain. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of like have to get them into that thought process and once once it clicks it clicks okay. but not a whole lot of injuries in jujitsu uh, yeah yeah I never I, I messed up my tailbone from a bad uh, arm bar mm -hmm. I won't do that <laughs> <laughs> another, another question would be um, do you use what you know as far as uh, you having a doctor in this do you use it on the on the mat <laughs> I know which way bones move, yeah, yeah. Uh, and I know which way they don't move. Mm -hmm. uh, I know which which joints are um, weaker than other joints. Mm -hmm. um, I may give away my secret, but yeah, yeah, wanna... you know I'm a big wrist lock guy. Mm -hmm. And some guys will say, "Well, wow, that's that's a chump way out of no, it." Uh, my goal, my my idea is, well, then stop it. You know, you. but it's a it's a I'm, I'm old, so right now I'm 54 years old, and I go against these kids, and, and these guys are big and they're yeah. strong, and you know I, I'm not going to pull somebody's arm straight for an arm bar. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to throw them in a, in a Kimura and overpower them, yeah. uh, maybe 30 years ago, 25 years ago, mm -hmm. but you know I concentrate on uh, wrist locks and the toe holds and I love you know, yeah, the smaller joints, mm -hmm. you know, when you go. You're so slick, you don't have to worry about it. Yes, I wish, man. I, I, I appreciate you, man. You're smooth like baby uh, peanut wish, butter, man. man. I'm trying to be like you guys, man. I'm trying to be like you. But um, is there anything else you want the people to know as far as uh, March 2nd? I know you guys are going to have a vendor table. You're going uh, to gonna give out um, T-shirts to all the athletes, which is, we appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think they'll love that. I know they'll love it. Um, anything else you want to let them know as far as the vendor table, what, you, what to expect? No, if anybody gets in an accident in the meantime, let me know. Yeah, uh, we'll, have a, we'll have a bunch of my people there, um, and just you know, my my. I like jujitsu so much that it's more. Entertaining. It, yeah, it's more fun <laughs> for me to to be a part of uh, you know. Uh, growing, some yeah. something growing, something with Des, because Des, you know, it, you're man. such nah, you're, man. you're a fantastic nah, guy. Nah, and by it's the way, your, your reflection. I'm, I'm, no, I'm nobody. But I, I roll it. with Des's wife. Uh, I don't know if you know this, mm -hmm. but she's my end of my end of the training role. Oh, she can tell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, so every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, mm -hmm. um, 
usually before I come off the mat, she and I are usually the last ones to come off the mat. Always, yep. And she's usually my last role. Yeah, yeah, so, she's always on the mat. Last yeah. person to leave. Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, <laughs> she's getting really, really, really good. Yeah, and, you, you know, I see, I see all your lovely kids. I can't it's, wait, It's man. fantastic. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> a, you know, it's so exciting to yeah. watch people grow. And I've been, I've been in jujitsu for 16 years, mm -hmm. and I've seen some really, really great guys come up come up through the years and you see them progress and you see their jujitsu progress and then their life gets better Appreciate and it's it. just you know it's nice to see it's, nice. to it's see. a great it's a great family mm -hmm. uh balance is a fantastic family yes. Des has his own operation over here at the place of peace. I remember when you had the little operation. Little spot, it was in, like where, where was it? In uh, Vincent Town? South Hampton. South Hampton? Yeah, yeah, right up the street from you come me. In, you're like, I want to get some work. And I'm like, all right, let's go. Yeah, you and your brother beat up on me. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> that was good times, man. That was good times. Man, I definitely appreciate your time. There is a, a kids' class that's going to happen. Um, Definitely appreciate you, man. Hey, you take, care, take care of the kids. Oh, I will, man. You know that we're going jujitsu class next. I love it. So, I love it. Whatever yeah, I can do for you. Vice you know. versa. Yeah. Vice versa. Yeah. So anything you need from me, I got you. I know the same uh, from you. So I appreciate uh, your time. And uh, you have a great rest of your day. Man. Yeah. Gentlemen, this guy and ladies, this he's guy. the best. Nah, this he's guy. the best. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.